It's another Steam Gift Gamble. Oh, good lord. Hello, my name is Kira. And this is Temper Tantrum, and this was sent to me by Mintake. And uh, I'm going to play it because I don't know what it is, as is the, uh, the format of the show. As you already know, people send me random games and I play them. And this is the latest in the uh, veritable catalogue of games what I have been sent to play. And uh, it seems to be the tale of one small child in his pants being chased around by the ghosts of puberty. Um, or something. I don't know. I don't know what these got to do with anything. What I know is that apparently, I guess... I, I, I don't know. Either way, that's an eye-bleedingly terrible rug. I've never seen anything like it, even in documentaries about the 1970s. So, uh, well, let's see what happens. Oh, Jesus Christ. So there's the baby with his... Uh, oh, God. D right. Break me. This is making my eyes literally bleed. As we speak, there is blood pouring down my cheeks. Into my mouth. So if I start coughing, then uh, it's because I have my own blood in my mouth. What the fuck? I can't control this little bastard. I hate kids. Oh, oh right. So... <laughs> what the hell is that? So that's your creepy uncle uh, who's come around to say hello to you. Is that... Right. What is the point of the testicle monsters? Like, the... The, the one-eyed... Freaks of nature, if you can't, if they don't do anything, like what do they do? I just ran into one and it didn't do nothing to me. Do these sweets increase your score? I don't know. I, I What is going on? It just says break me next to everything. Also, this kid, I believe, is the uh, illegitimate child of Lois Lane and Superman because he seems to be able to just run around into stuff. And that stuff just breaks. It cannot control him. It cannot stop him. His inertia is off the scale. Oh my god. Right. What? Okay. So that time I hit a stupid one-eyed freak monster. Give me the treat. Give me the treat. Oh, he's turned red. I don't know why he turned... Oh, who knows. Right. More destroying stuff. So, I'm going to... The, the camera. The camera, I assume, was coded by a drunkard. Or an idiot. Possibly both. Possibly a drunk idiot. Um, it loosely follows what you're doing. The controls are damn near impossible. Because he just seems to like randomly walk wherever he likes. No matter what direction you, you're actually pressing the arrow keys. Because the mouse doesn't do nothing. That I can tell. Anyway. Uh, oh, I've completed the level. Loading babysitter's house. Right. Does the mouse do anything? Clickety clicky! No, apparently not. Oh, a combo breaker. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. right. So that they nap time. Why is that got like a noise of a squid? What is that about? So apparently, if they get you when they're red, it's nap time. That that seems to be. Why the fuck are these like nightmarish globules attempting to put a baby to bed? What is going on? Oh, oh, okay. I ran out of whatever. Is it? I think it might. Yeah. So the sweet. Yeah. Okay. So the sweets. The sweets allow you to attack the one-eyed uh, things. But if they touch you when they're red, you, you you get put to bed. And if you if you hit them whilst they're green, they they spontaneously combust. Right. Makes perfect sense. I mean, I don't know why I picked up and didn't pick up on it earlier. It's clearly. I mean, what else was it going to be? Who the... I want to meet whoever thought this was a good idea. Just to see, like... I want to know what that mind is like. Because I look at some stuff and I think... Yeah, that would work. But then I'm like, no, that wouldn't work. That would be terrible. You'd be an idiot to try that. It looks like this person kind of looks at that kind of thing. And, and just goes with the first thought. It's like, this would be awesome. And then when someone says, are you sure about that? They go, yeah. Yeah, but no, really, are you sure about that? Are you sure you want, like, some sort of nightmarish neon house that's made up entirely of primary colours? Occupied by, like, floating one-eyed monsters chasing a small child in his pants. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, yeah, it sounds great. Are, are you, uh, honestly, though, honestly. Did this person have, like, a, a multi-level meeting? Where he went from the CEO. That's an amazing loading screen, by the way, because it's not even the same size as the rest of the game. Wow, alright. 
Fucking hell, give me a chance. So he goes to the board, right? He goes to the board. He's like, all right, guys. Look, we, we had a big hit with, uh, with Baby in Pants 1. And I've got an amazing idea, right, for, for an entirely new franchise. And, uh, it, I mean, admittedly, it involves a baby in her pants again. But, on the other hand, check this out, right, check this out. You're in a house that has been decorated by some sort of kleptomaniac 70s freak. Right, and you're, you're trying to run around and destroy everything with your forehead. Because you are the illegitimate child of Superman, right? Only, only, we've got these, like, weird one-eyed testicle monsters that keep putting you to bed if you get near them unless you eat a sweet in which case you gain the power of the of the anti-globule and at that point you can kill them well how does that sound and the guy the guy's like the 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 head the ceo of the company is like holy shit holy give this man a promotion from this game right now we need this game in our lives the design, the vision, outstanding. Stunning work. Young man, you are now becoming my adopted son. And uh, I wish to give you everything I... Oh, I'm dead. This is terrible. This is terrible and it's shit and it looks dreadful and I'm not playing it anymore. And I'll see you next time.